right, welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Madden Money Shot, sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. I got part two of my Gun Split Raider. Uh, this one here is going to be a lot more gadget plays. The second I go to the screen, it shows essentially all of them with a couple more plays around, um, you know, mixed in. Uh, and then some really good plays I'm not going to show. I'm not going to show the halfback draw because that's pretty basic. Everybody knows about that play. Uh, but I am going to show some of these motions and bubbles and uh, these fake motions that really give opponents headaches. Um, this is, you know, the Raiders are one of the better gadget playbooks in the game. I would say it's somewhere between them and the Niners, I would imagine. Um, for that, With that being said, the play that I put out in the first video, and I'll pop a link for you guys to check that out now. X out and up is one of the glitchier routes, one of the glitchier deep routes in this game um, to pop, to bomb it up and, uh, you know, get just unbelievable touchdowns over and over and over. And the Raiders also have the other one. There's two routes in this game that I would say are like that. And the other one is the one, the post and cross, um, the, the, which is another video I already put out. So if you want a playbook, has got a lot of uh, gadget plays, trick plays, as well as, you know, deep bombs. This is a really good playbook for that. So maybe I'll check it out more in the future. Um, but this is part two, and this is going to be the last one. So if you do want to see more Raiders from me, do me a favor and hit the like button, and I will do that. Other than that, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get into the uh, the first play, the motion bubble screen. And then, obviously, these other plays play off of that. I'm going to show you the way that I run all of them. So let's go ahead and let's pick that one first, the top one. Now, right at the gate, I picked the simplest one, but this is probably my least favorite, if that's fair to say. Um, not because it's not a good play, but because I think that, you know, first I have a tight end running it. And if I, could, if I flip the play, it doesn't change anything. I still got a tight end running it. So unless you have a really athletic tight end, which a lot of people do, do have, um, it's not as effective to me as some of the plays I put out where the running back is running it. Uh, with that being said, um, I got I got a fullback running it. I'm pretty sure Alawale is a really fast fullback, but I don't know how much how great a footage I'm going to get based off of that fact. Uh, so it's, there's no audibles. You're just going to run it as is. You want to throw it the second the play is run. Like you want to just throw it right before, um, you know, as soon as you get the ball, hike it out. The reason for that is if you wait, and I'll show you the bad way to run it. If you wait, he sits, loses all of his acceleration. You still, you know, it's still possible to run it that way, but the user will probably get there in time. If you run it like the way I'm sure I'm going to, I'll show you one more time. If you run it like this, typically... You know, that's a really good block, but typically the user recognizes there's no other receivers and they'll start booking over there and getting you. Um, I like running it, like I was saying. I just, the second I get the ball, I just chuck it out. That's a man coverage. Man coverage is going to beat that for sure. That's the only thing. Nobody really runs man in this Madden, but if somebody is running man, you don't want to run this because man beats the hell out of this. Um, you know, especially, and if you run this too often, your opponent might start switching the man. But uh, that's the best way to do it because you keep that acceleration boost straight through the play. So I'll go ahead and I'll run this one more time. Like I said, man coverage is not the way to go. Um, there, you see, it's kind of a funky catching animation. You want to catch it in stride. You know what I'm saying? It's all about how you catch this ball and keep it going. I mean, that's a great blocking. There, you had to slow down a little bit. But it's a guaranteed like 10 yards every time. I use this a lot of times in goal line scenarios. Um, not this particular play, but this concept of play. Uh, is really good in goal line scenarios because you, you're guaranteed what am I getting 10 15 every time so a goal line inside the 10 yard line is going to get it you know no matter what so like I said unless somebody decides to start running um you know start running man coverage on the goal line which people typically won't do so that's a real simple one no changes there the next one here is the motion inside zone I'll save the passing play for last um this is basically just an inside zone with a fake motion Obviously, I showed the motion bubble screen first because you want to use that to an extent. You want to you want to set up these plays. These all three plays are meant to work together. You want to show your hand with the motion bubble screen. Then once they start paying attention to that, worrying about that, you'll notice they start you know cheating over to that side to take that away. They use them as a linebacker. Maybe they'll make some audible to the defensive end or outside linebacker to follow that in a man or something. Once they start paying attention to that, you hit them with this inside run, and it'll make it that much more effective. So we'll go ahead and we'll pick that, and then we'll go um, nickel, random nickel. So, you know, this this is not going to have the same effect as it would in a game. But, like I said, if you if you see this motion, the user might take off out of the middle of the field. And it's going to give you a huge blocking advantage right at the center. I only get about five or six there. But this is, you know, this is just an inside zone. I'm not going to say this is going to bust big touchdowns. Giant hole there, though. 
I want to get a couple of good runs, though. I mean, I know I'm going against a top-notch defense. It was it was either this or pick the uh, the the Denver Broncos. I could have picked this team, the Broncos, or the Chargers because I always try to stay in division, and I don't want to just get like too cheesy and just go against the worst defense. I mean, you can see I'm getting at least five every time. I'm not sure if this guy motioning out messes with the computer's play rack, but you're definitely getting some good lanes. I mean, the offensive line's setting up beautifully. They're doing way better on the run block than they do on the pass block. As they get about ten, so I'm gonna go ahead and move on after that. Got a couple more plays to show. I'm not sure if they'll all make the YouTube video or not, though. Um, but the last one is the uh, the motion PA doubles post. This is a very good run, uh, pass play. I like this one a lot. So let's go ahead and let's pick that. I messed around with the idea of, um, in this play in particular, I'm not really sure uh, what's the better route to throw to, Crabtrees or Holtons. They're both very good. Alawale is still really good, too. Uh, and this particular play is kind of more like bait than anything. Um, but... This is a, you know, this is a play. I, I like to put the, uh, the only adjustment I like to make is I like to put the running back here into one of these. Um, you can also put him into one of these. I mean, this is a, uh, what is this, a curl? That's basically just to hold the user defender. If the user defender drops back, then I typically, uh, you could throw it to as a check down. Like I said, the out route's also pretty good. Uh, but he's kind of going in the same direction as Alawale, so I really don't like to do that too much. Um, but I also like to put, if it's a cover three, Cooper, I like to put him in a, uh, in, in, in a uh, modified out route, which is like a deeper version. But I also find that his route's pretty good, just as is, um, against uh, cover twos specifically. So, um, you know, I'm going to run the play essentially just like it's designed. I think sometimes a crab tree and a slant's pretty good, but I can't really uh, make too many adjustments. Like I said, the only thing I like is Murray. There's not a lot of check downs, so putting Murray in one of these is probably my favorite way to make a check down. Um, but like I said, you can continue to throw it to Alawale, but you see the cover two, he drops down right away. If it's a cover two, you really got two concepts here. Cover two, you're playing R1 against Cooper, Alawale versus Cooper. If he, if the quarterback drops down in cover two, it's going to put, um, it's going to make Cooper open. If he drops back to Cooper, it leaves Alawale open. Now this looks like a cover three, so like I said, my cover three adjustment would be to put him in an out route, and now you're going to see how he's just essentially you know, that's just, that's just a, a cover three beater all day. So that's going to be open every time. I forgot to mention Murray's play action. You don't want that. That can mess everything up. So here we see a cover three again. It's really my choice if I want to try to hit that running back or just take the sure money cover three beater, which is Cooper. I find that Holden's a really good cover three beater um, and a cover two. I mean, Holden's route's a really good route overall. He just finds the hole in space and you just got to come back to the ball properly and you'll catch it a lot of times. Yeah, if it's a cover three, I mean, Cooper's going to be the quick read and Holton's going to be a little bit of a later read. So it's up to you if you want to try to go for the big play. If they're sending pressure, though, you might want to get rid of it quick. So here, see, so like I said, you got that pressure. <laughs> yeah, Holton's the, the quicker read. I'm sorry, yeah. Yeah, so if it's cover three, Holton is definitely a, uh, a little bit of a riskier read. I mean, Cooper's money every time. But uh, Holton will be open right, you know, Holton will be open a little bit later, but a much bigger result. If you throw it right when he makes that break, you can see he can come back in front of the corner and catch it. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to run this one more time. Hopefully I'll get a cover two. I really like that comeback route. Oh, look at that. Back shoulder. Nice adjustment. This play is really all about making adjustments, though, after the ball's in the air. If you really want to know the truth about it, a lot of people might not be able to make this play work. Um, but it's really a lot of times adjustment and I'm not a huge fan of that comeback route, but Cooper's getting it done uh, This is one of the few comeback routes that I actually endorsed if you look at my videos I don't think I've ever um, Said that a comeback route is the way to go except for this play I think that it works really well in this concept uh, I might try to institute it in my plays more going forward, but that's it. I'm gonna go ahead and move on from this play now like I said, I'm not going to show the draw, but the draw is a really good option. If somebody's sending a lot of heat, the draw a lot of times will open up in the middle of the field, especially if they're sending outside heat. That's one of the, the things that you know people forget. These outside blitzes are very vulnerable to up the middle runs like draw plays, especially if they're if they're loading outside. Um, so that's something to pay attention to. The halfback cross buck is not a very good play. Uh, and the last play that I would show would be the PA tight end slide. I'll go ahead and I'll pick that. And then we'll go, um, you know, random nickel again one more time. 
This play here, you know, you can run it just like it is. Uh, it's a pretty good play. I think that if you motion out Alawale, they kind of, you know, I like the look of it, but they kind of run too close together. Um, you know, I would like to get another guy over on uh, on Crabtree's side, but there's just not really a route. Just There's just not a good complementary route over there. I do find that sometimes moving Crabtree over um, is a good play. It's a nice, you know, but in this, in this scenario, you would definitely want to cancel the play action. But for the most part, I think just running it as is is probably the best way to go. Um, and you're pretty much going to be looking at, you know, one of the running backs. You're not really looking too much elsewhere. Um, you know, there's there's a decent receiver over the middle, but he'll typically be usered. Um, but, you know, I, I don't think that this play, because of the lack of blocking, the, the circle route's good. This this is one of my more favorite routes. He didn't hang on it because he's a butt receiver. But there's no real adjustments to this play. Your first read's going to be R1 and then maybe X. Uh, this comeback route, like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm becoming more and more fan of that comeback route. If you get a cover two, though, your best read is going to be Holton. Uh, it has to be cover two man, though. Cover two zone is not that great. I'm sorry, cover two zone, not cover two man. Uh, there was a cover three. You can still make the adjustment in front of the cover three safety. You're just not going to have as big of a window. So that's it. Uh, that's all the plays. If you want to see the full video, check it out on my Patreon. Other than that, I'm going to end it there. Thanks for watching. Mad Money Shut Out. Hey, you made it to the end of the video, which means either you like the content you're watching or you fell asleep halfway through. Either way, if you hit the subscribe button, you can catch all my videos now releasing daily. Thanks for watching.